Hey guys, welcome back to Laura's Natural Life, and today <laughs> I think I have the empties of all empties for you. So I'm gonna try to blow through this pretty, pretty quick and uh, hopefully categorize them for a little more ease because this is possibly the most empties I've ever had to show you. <laughs> Okay guys, I just made an executive decision and I'm gonna break this up into makeup as one video and hair, skin, and body as a second video because I have probably 20 things of makeup in here because I also cleaned out my makeup drawers. So this one is going to be makeup and the next one will be everything else. To start us off, I have four powders. This first one is the Well People Bio Brightener Invisible Powder and I think I'm just gonna say um, repurchase or replace with something else. So I would repurchase, I tried to repurchase on Pharmaca on Black Friday and they couldn't get it from well people. So still hoping to repurchase, but um, I'm trying. I'm trying to repurchase it and it's not happening. <laughs> Honey Bee Gardens Pressed Mineral Powder, shade Montego. I actually use this as a bronzer it's too dark for my skin and I would replace. I used to love this formula, it was my favorite formula and they've since added um, some kind of scent to it, so replace. Next is the Well People Altruist and I wore the shade Light Neutral, although I think this is reformulated and they have different shades now. I would repurchase this. I enjoyed it as a setting powder. Alima Pure Satin Matte Finishing Powder in Hanea probably wouldn't repurchase, replace. Actually, yeah, I probably wouldn't. No, it was fine. Didn't love it. I like the well people better. I have two foundations. Uh, the first one is, you know, my beloved Gressa Minimalist Serum in the shade three. And I squeezed every dang drop out of this. I cleaned off the rim. I like went to town on this guy because these are so expensive. You can't waste a single drop. Would I repurchase? Yes, already have. But I use this differently now. And I've talked about this once before, but I wanna make sure you guys know that I use it different so that you're not using a ton of it and blowing through it super fast because it is so, so pricey. I either use no more than two drops on my entire face now with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. That seems to put the most color per those two drops on my face or I mix one drop with a different foundation to get the Grassa texture and redness coverage. I don't ever use more than two drops, ever. Cause, gotta ration you. This is the new Evolution Complete Coverage Foundation and I wore the shade 101. I probably would not repurchase this just because I love other ones better, but I did enjoy this. It just went bad really fast and it started smelling kind of funky. Um, and oh, and if you love a matte coverage, which I don't, I don't love a matte finish, but um, if you love matte finish, this is definitely one that I would recommend for you. Now let's move on to an excessive amount of eye products. So keep in mind, I did also like clean out stuff and get rid of expired stuff. So I didn't really use this much stuff, I don't think. This is a Hint Beauty Mascara. I did repurchase. I think I'm on my third tube. I love it. It's a drier formula. Um, so you do have to build it up quite a bit, but it never gets clumpy. Yes, repurchase. Well, people, I do have another one, but I would not repurchase. I think that the Well People, you either love it or it doesn't work for you. And I love the way it separates lashes, but it just, this formula just transfers on me with my hooded lids. I don't know what it is about it. I want to love it, but it's not my favorite from them. Here is a New Evolution Mascara. I quite enjoyed this. I don't remember. I probably would not repurchase just because I am really into my favorite rotation of Hint and Lily Lolo, but I thought this was pretty similar to Lily Lolo. I think maybe just transferred a little bit. And Lily Lolo never transfers on me, so I know it's a safe bet. Ooh, this is the Honest Beauty True Eyeliner in Truly Gold. This is a fine product. It just, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I don't really use a gold eyeliner. I think I thought it'd be a fun look and I just never, never use it. And I find that Honest Beauty is a little like harder of a formula and you have to warm it up before you put it on. And so for that reason, I wouldn't repurchase and don't worry, this will go to a good home because it's not expired. It's still totally fine. 
This is good till the last <laughs> drop if it was liquid, but it's not. This is the Honest Beauty Brow Filler, and I, yes, I repurchased. I think I have used two or three of them now. I think it's one of my favorite pencils, and I love the spoolie on it is like the perfect spoolie. And it's affordable, you guys. It's hard to find affordable products. Another eyebrow fave, this was the Honest, no, what is this? 100% Pure Brow Builder Fiber. There were no fibers, don't be afraid. It's basically like a tiny mascara wand. I loved this for like real fast, butter looking eyebrows and go, uh, but it's really tiny for the price and it ran out faster than any eyebrow product I've ever used in my life. So I would not repurchase it for that reason. 100% pure, this is I think the brightening concealer. This actually arrived to me broken and cracked and I think I just forgot to have them replace it or like they couldn't tell that it was cracked from the picture and they never sent me a new one. It was something weird like that. So I don't have anything to say about this because I never really ended up using it. These are two Silk Naturals Velvet Matte Lipsticks that are definitely expired. Um, super cheap if you guys don't know about Silk Naturals, super, super cheap. I like the Velvet Matte formula. I might repurchase, I don't know, I have never repurchased a lipstick before. Um, I really liked this shade Bobble though. It was super fun for summer and I definitely wore this in a few videos. I really liked it. I could, I might repurchase this one this summer. Um, but you can always tell when Silk Naturals goes bad because they start smelling funky. Um, and Canoodle, I don't even think I can get a swatch out for you. I used every dang what was in there. Yep. <laughs> I, I got a little out. It was a great, like your lips, but better. Really beautiful color. Next are some really, really old Bite Beauty lip glosses. I'm not even sure if they still make them. The shade Current and Strawberry. These I think I got in like a set and I would not repurchase because I'm not a lip gloss girl. I think lip gloss. I use it on occasion, but I'll use it for like one season and then get rid of it because I think it's gross. That, I don't know. I just think it's like a cesspool of germs. Maybe that's just me, but I do you remember using these over top of lipsticks like a lot in videos literally th three years ago so they, these definitely oh god they smell bad they need to go along the same lines was a tart lip surgeons i don't even think they make the lip surgeons the same way i used to love their lip surgeons is um back when i thought that they were natural oh the shade is pretty um i don't use tart anymore and so and it's also definitely expired. So no, I would not repurchase. This, oh, this was such a pretty nude. This was 100% pure. It's just expired and it's in the shade Coquette. Ooh, and it's melted. That's weird. Um, and it, ugh, this needs to go, you guys. <laughs> but it is a really pretty Your Lips But Better nude. And I think it, that it just looks on, so good on so many people. It's just that their lipsticks have a really, really short shelf life um, because they use such non-toxic preservatives. And so their stuff goes bad really fast, sadly. Cool, you guys, I kept it under 10 minutes. So that is part one. Um, so make sure to stay tuned for part two, which will be skincare, hair care, body care. Yeah, that's part two. I hope you enjoyed part one. Thanks for watching.